Okay, remainder concept again. Okay, you all have to revise your remainder theory. It's very important. No? It's one of the most commonly tested uh, fraction problem sums. And then they can mix it up with percentage, but it's actually the same thing, right? So the remainder concept are to revise them. Okay, let's start. A survey carried out by a school revealed that 1,185 uh, okay, Matthew, you're correct. Of its pupils walk to school every day. 60% of the remaining pupils go to school by bus, while the rest of the pupils goes to school by car. See the word remaining? It's a very clear indication. It is a remainder theory concept, and therefore, we must draw a model. Okay, Given that one-fifth of pupils go to school by car, how many pupils are there in the school? Now, let's draw a model to represent all the pupils. Okay, 1185 will be here. This goes to school every day, walking. Okay, walking. The rest will be the remainder. All right, so 60% of the remaining pupils go to school by bus. 60%, uh, you can convert this into a fraction 60 over 100. 60 over 100 is 3 over 5. Can use a calculator to do that. So meaning the remainder can be divided into five parts of which three parts goes to school by bus. Five parts, three parts goes to school by bus. While the rest of people go to school by car. So these two units goes to school by car. Got it? Now, the last statement is the difficult part. Huh? Given that one fifth of the pupils go to school by car, how many pupils are there in the school? So look here. This is one fifth of everything, right? This bar here, this big bar here on top is all the pupils. And these two units happen to be only one fifth of this top bar. Got that? That's what it means. Given that one fifth of the pupils go to school by car, so this is one unit and this is five units. Okay. So you can record it here. See, the thing is this one fifth, but if you look, you look at the diagram, right? It says it shows two. So okay, a bit uh not not really uh done a common base, I'll call it a common base. So what you can do is, you just have to change the numerator here to two, right? One fifth change to, uh, change this one to two, easy. Multiply by two on the top and two below. And you get 210. So now, this will make understanding the model a lot easier. Now, this is 210 of all the pupils. Meaning this is two units and this entire top bar is 10 units. Okay? So this entire top bar is 10 units and the remainder is five units. Yeah. So this 10 units and this is five units. Okay? Any question? Any question? Put it in the chat. All right. No. Okay. Now, now they have filled in all the units, the whole bar populated. You can see 1185 is 10 units minus 5 units. All right. So 5 units is 1185. One unit is 237. How many pupils are there in the school? The school has total of 10 units here. Yeah? Look at the model. So 10 times 230, and that will be the answer. 237, and that will be the answer. 10 times 37 is 2370.